Just wondering, does this look familiar? I know it has been such a long time since I've stood here with you guys in my kitchen and I have to completely admit that it feels pretty good to be back in my kitchen, all but briefly, all but very, very briefly, but at least I'm here, right? I'm here today and I have the most awesome, wonderful, delicious little recipe that I wanna share with you guys today. And that recipe is for my super, super quick avocado bread. Now this is not a new recipe. I actually shared this recipe probably in 2018. I know we're starting to, we're starting to um, you know, rack up the years of, um, of eating healthy. It was my two year anniversary yesterday of when I started my health journey. And this recipe was one that I created way back in 2018 um, when I was sort of just on the start of my journey and um, I was absolutely missing bread because as you know being gut healthy I have removed all the gluten from my diet and feel so much better for it so no more bloating no more pain no more discomfort all the most amazing things have happened um, to my body and my health since I started to remove the gluten but I do miss bread because please don't think for a second that I am a gluten hater quite the opposite I grew up eating lots and lots of bread, so I wanted to make sure that I created a recipe that I could have that was delicious and that it was really, really quick. And of course it was gluten-free, sugar-free and dairy-free, which is the three major things that you guys know that I keep out of my recipes. The only waiver being is that every now and then I do add a bit of really good quality dairy back into my diet in the way of a nice grass-fed butter or a really delicious cheese or something like that. So today's recipe, as I was saying, is for my super quick avocado bread. Now before we get into the recipe, I have one really important announcement to make. And that announcement is that today is the very last day that you can enter my amazing competition, which is to win a foodies weekend or foodie two-day two -day trip to come and hang out with me here in Sydney and we will go on a foodies tour of Sydney. I will take you to all my favorite places to shop. So I will basically give you the rundown of how I shop to stay healthy, the type of ingredients that I use and the type of markets that I go to here in Sydney. It will be an all expenses paid trip. So if you're flying in from you know, one of the major cities in Australia and New Zealand, I will fly you in all expenses paid, you'll stay in a luxury Sydney hotel for a couple of days. We will hang out, we will go shopping on a foodie tour. We will also then go and have lunch at one of my favorite, absolutely favorite healthy restaurants here in Sydney. And then we'll take all that wonderful shopping back to this kitchen here, back into this kitchen. And we will cook up a storm. So we'll do a one-on-one -on -one cooking class. And then we'll sit down, myself, you and Mahi, and we'll sit down and we'll enjoy the spoils of war, of what we've just created in the kitchen. So, this competition closes today, because it's the last day of February. To enter the competition, all you need to do is grab up your copy of More. If you, don't, if you haven't already done this and you have a copy of More from British Healthy Kitchen, grab up a copy of More, post a photo of you holding your book of More on um, Facebook or on Instagram, make sure you tag Bridget's Healthy Kitchen into it, otherwise I won't see your entry. And then you go into the drawer to win that amazing foodie weekend. It is valued, valued at over $5,000. And all you gotta do is take a photo of your book and yourself and send it to me and Mahei and then we will see it. And then all those entries go into a drawer and we will draw um, the competition in two weeks time because we need to collate all the different, um, all of the different entries from all around the internet that we have received, and we will draw that that um, prize, and we will announce the winner in two weeks' time. So pretty exciting stuff, right? Two weeks' time from today, we'll be announcing that winner live on Facebook. We'll do the draw live as well, just to make sure that everything's above board, right? So. Get your entries in, that is the announcement. Let's get into the recipe, now that I've talked about more from Bridget. If you don't have a copy of more, don't worry. You can get your copy, morefrombridget.com. In New Zealand, it is morefrombridget.co.nz. We have a special deal for our New Zealand audience because New Zealand has named this cookbook the best diet cookbook for 2019 and 2020 in New Zealand. So we've actually got a special deal, deal for the Kiwis, uh, morefrombridget.co.nz. Anywhere else in the world, go to morefrombridget.com. 
com. All right, recipe time. Recipe's exciting. I am, just like I said, when I was like gluten free, it used to drive me nuts because growing up, always having a loaf of bread on the table or always having like something that would be kind of like the filler. Every now and then you need that filler. And hello to everyone who's joining me as well. I just saw my sister Marie jump in. Hi Marie, love you, missed you last time we were in Z. And hi to Brenda as well. We've got Jackie um, joining us all the way from the US. Um, Jackie, you can purchase more and we will deliver it to the US. It is not, my books currently are not available in any bookstores anywhere in the world. Because we self-publish, you can only purchase them from me and Mahi online. So Jackie, just go to morefrombridget.com and it can be delivered to the US. We deliver all around the world. We're currently in over 20 countries around the world. That's about to increase as well, which is really exciting. So, cool stuff, cool little recipe. My quick, super quick avocado bread. And the other reason why I'm doing this recipe is because, um, as you guys know, I have spent the last probably three to four weeks having very limited um, access to cooking equipment and in fact my main cooking equipment for the last literally month has been a microwave oven so this recipe is yes you can use a microwave oven but you don't have to use a microwave oven you could also use a pie maker they can be put into a pie maker as well so if you don't want to use a microwave and the other thing you can actually do with this is you can put this bread into muffin cases and then pop it in the oven Preheated on 180 degrees, they'll take about five to ten minutes to cook in the oven. So you've got three options if microwaving isn't your thing. But if you're like me and this is all you have is a microwave and 90 seconds spare, then you can make this bread. So come on down to my board. Let's. Uh, I want to show you guys just how how simple this recipe is. And as I was saying, I, I created this recipe. A no, in 2018, but I have since improved it. So this is the new and improved version of my super quick avocado bread. Um, so the first thing you need to think about, of course, is you need some avocados. And avocados, um, this one's a little bit on the firm side. That's all I had um, option-wise when I went to the supermarket this morning, is they are a little bit firm. So because these avocados are a bit firm, I'm actually going to make the entire mix here in my little blender. If your avocado is nice and soft, you don't even need to use a blender. You can just do it, you know, just do it in a bowl and mash it up with a fork. But as I was saying, my avocado is like, Arr! really ripe so or really firm so I'm actually going to um, use the blender and just maybe you want to use the blender because it's quick right so all you need to do is have a fairly ripe avocado not a brown one you definitely don't want a brown one you look at that look at that even though it's firm it is gorgeous you gotta admit that's gorgeous right that is just you could lick it no you probably don't want to lick it before it goes into the thing. but you could it's gorgeous and avocado is so versatile, that's why I love it. Brain food, avocado is so good for your brain. So, healthy fat, remember. So this is kind of like this healthy fat bread that we're making, that's really quick. So into my blender, I'm just gonna put in, this is for one portion of bread, yeah? For one, for you, this is your bread. So you wanna put in a sort of a heaped tablespoon of avocado. That goes into there, nice and easy. As well as the avocado, you also want to put in a flour, another type of flour, obviously not a normal flour. The flour that I'm using today is almond flour. If you um, want to go nut free, you could do coconut flour as well. Um, but when it comes to coconut flour, so with the almond flour, I'm adding a heaped, you guys see that? A heaped tablespoon. If you are using coconut flour, just use three quarters of a tablespoon because coconut flour is very, um, it's very moisture thirsty and it will take all the moisture out of your bread and make it quite dry. So if you're using almond or say sunflower seed, if you wanna go nut free, feel free to do a heaped tablespoon. If you are using coconut flour, just go three quarters, yeah? Go three quarters, otherwise you're gonna get a dry bread and that's not nice. So that is in there, easy peasy. You can also use almond meal as well. This is almond flour, you know it's almond flour because it's just the blanched almonds. Um, almond meal actually has the skins attached, so you'll get brown specks through your through your almond, which is completely awesome. And the reason why it's completely awesome is because almond skins help to make your bread a prebiotic. Did you know that? Almond skins are really good for you. So if you can get almond meal, 100%, go for that. Um, I can't get almond meal. I haven't seen it. I haven't looked very hard, to be honest, but I haven't seen it a lot, so I'm just using almond flour. So that goes in there. 
The next thing we want to do is we want to add in an egg. And I'm just going to crack it straight into, straight into the bowl. And as well as the egg, I'm going to take up a little bit of baking powder that I've got here. You don't need much baking powder, just a little bit. In fact, you need about a quarter of a teaspoon of baking powder per bread. So a quarter of a teaspoon of baking powder goes in there as well. And then what I'm going to use to not just to, to bulk it out, so to give it extra fiber, because now we've got, you know, we've got almonds in there and, and avocados and, and egg, which is really good healthy fats, really good for our brain health, really good for our heart health, re just really, really good for us. Like this is so incredibly good for us. But we also um, want to increase the fiber content in here. And the best way to do that and the easiest way to do that is with psyllium husks. Now psyllium husks, and look, I've got a huge bag. You can tell I like psyllium husks. Psyllium husks are basically a natural fiber. And um, because they are a natural fiber, they're really good for our body, really good for our gut health. They will help to keep us regular. But one of the really cool things about fiber, um, especially in this form, psyllium husk, is you can add it into food and it helps to keep it together. It kind of gels it. So I'm only adding half a teaspoon. You don't need that much. And it's gonna help to, to bind the bread as it's, as it's cooking. And you're going to get a really nice texture here. So psyllium husks are wonderful for many, many reasons health-wise. I mean, it helps to feed the, the healthy bacteria in your gut, which is amazing. But also, even from just a culinary perspective, like what it does to the bread is it helps to bind it and it gives it a lovely soft texture. Well, that's in theory anyway. <laughs> in theory. Last thing I'm going to add is over here, I forgot, a pinch of salt. Just a pinch of a mineral salt like Himalayan salt, which is lovely and good for us. Lid goes on. And then we just give it a bit of a blend. Just a quick blend up. And as I was saying, because you can see the avocado is quite chunky, I'm going to keep it going just a little bit longer. You probably, if you've got a ripe avocado, it will take seconds as opposed to, I had to, you know, I'm having to work it. I just want to get the avocado kind of, you know, distributed evenly through the mixture. I don't know about you, but this seems extremely loud today. <laughs> it seems louder than normal. I don't know if it's messing with my head. All right, so that is the consistency that you're looking for. And, you know, remember, if your avocado was really, really ripe, you could literally avoid this process here and just do it in a bowl with a fork and mash it all up. So now that that's ready, decide on the type of container you'd like to cook it in if you're going for the microwave. So um, because it's a bread, I want to do it in a rectangle. There's nothing stopping you from doing it in a mug as well. But I think rectangles are kind of cool. And the bread does look pretty spectacular when it comes out. So scrape it all in. You don't have to grease the container or anything like that. You just literally just scrape it all in. I'm going to attempt to find my plastic spatula because I don't want to waste. I hate waste. And a spatula, if I can find one. I haven't been in my kitchen for weeks, so I don't know where everything is. No, we may not be able to locate one. Everything's in different places. <laughs> uh, okay, I don't, I, I don't have no idea where my spatula has gone. So I'm just going to scrape. I am going to scrape. I'm going to be not very happy about it, but I'm going to try and attempt to get as much out of here as possible. All right, so now give it a bit of a tap on the bench. That now goes into um, Chef Mike. Takes care of this now, Chef Microwave. <laughs> takes care of this now and I'm going to pop that in the microwave for 90 seconds on high there we go 90 seconds on high actually that was too long that was that was it 90 seconds gosh I can't count I've even forgotten how to use my microwave it's been that long so while that's cooking we're going to make the second flavor combination so that is the base yeah that's the base you just have your type of flour that you want to use. Make sure you've got your lovely avocado as well, of course. And egg, baking powder, and psyllium husk. And now you can start to experiment. And we spoke about this yesterday on, um, on our Q&A session. You can start to be a little bit adventurous. So back to our avocado. Half goes in there. In fact, uh, sorry, a tablespoon. It was not quite a tablespoon, so I'm going to 
Um, I'm going to attempt to put some more in here of this super <laughs> firm avocado. It'll be really nice in salads, I have to say. That would be really delicious in salads. Just a little bit hard to deal with when you're wanting to make <laughs> a soft bread. So that's in there. I'm going to go back to my, um, my almond flour. And I'm going to add that in as my flour. Remember, heaped tablespoon if you're using almond. Three quarters if you're using coconut. That goes in there. I'm still going to be adding in mycelium husks, which was half a teaspoon. Just like that. And my baking powder. Very important. We want it to rise. I'm just going to get the lid off. Oop, there we go. Just a quarter of a teaspoon baking powder goes in there. You can hear the beep. So even before I finish making the second uh, variation on this, or the first variation on this, our bread is ready. Oh, it smells so good. Isn't it cute? Are you ready for this? This is so awesome. This is just so cool. And it's green. I mean, isn't that the best part? It's going to be hot. I might put it on the end of my knife because it's going to be very hot. All right. There you have your bread. Check it out. How cool is it, right? That is your own special little avocado bread, heart healthy, brain healthy, gut healthy bread that you can make in a couple of minutes. And the best part about this bread, because of the psyllium husk that we got in there, but also the avocado, it is, can you see? It is super, super tender. It is super soft. So if you were to say, you know, cut it in half and then pop it in the toaster, hallelujah. It toasts up really, really well. Oh, it's really hot. You can see the avocado specks in there. It smells amazing. But even if you were to, to have it, you know, to, to, to make it and then take it with you to work or, or put into a school lunch or something like that, it still will stay nice and soft. So you can toast it and then have it for breakfast with poached eggs. You can, you know, toast it and just eat it with more avocado and tomato and all sorts of wonderful things. You can put fillings in it and make lovely sandwiches out of it, which is so gorgeous. Or you can just have it on the side of say a curry or a stew where you want to mop up all the juices. It is super versatile. So that is the base. We are making round number two. So here we go. The only other thing I needed to add into it just to give us the base was our egg, was our whole egg. That goes in. And now we can play. And when it comes to playing, if you want to do another savory version, oh, I forgot my little pinch of salt goes in there. If you want to do a little savory version, you could do something like adding fresh herbs, of course. That is the probably the most the simplest thing that you can do is to add some fresh herbs. I have basil here because um, basil and avocado just everything it just goes so well, right? It's a match made in heaven. So um, I would use if I was you, I would use a, a herb like basil. Um, mint, not so much. I think basil's more a nice savory herb. But if you don't have any fresh herbs, you could, in fact, I will say you could, in fact, use um, some dried herbs as well. So you could just put a pinch, a little pinch of maybe a, um, some thyme in there would be really, really nice. Not, you don't need much when it's dried because it's quite robust when it's dried. You could use um, thyme. You could use even a little, just a tiny bit of dried rosemary could go in there too. So you don't have to have fresh herbs, but... As we all know, the fresh herbs definitely make it more exciting. So the last thing I'm going to add in here, just to give it a little bit more, a little bit uh, of a difference and a bit of variety, is I'm going to add in, I've just got some um, pumpkin seeds or pepitas and some sunflower seeds. So just like probably half a tablespoon of seeds, mixed seeds go in there. And the seeds are going to help to give it a little bit of texture as well, because we're going to still blend it up. But the seeds are also going to give it a lovely bit of flavour. So here we go. Give it a blend. All right. So even just something simple like that. I might just give it one little last little blend. Some of the, the seeds are, um, some of them are quite big. Some of them have, you know, been chopped down a little bit. So you're going to get a wonderful texture from the seeds in there. Yeah, happy. Right, back to our little container. See how clean it comes out too? Like literally, it just pops right out. It's very, very cool. So back to our little container. Scrape it all in. 
remember this is once again this is like for your own single private portion of avocado bread and uh, yeah good right i mean yum i cannot wait i cannot wait to devour these because they're all looking pretty fabulous all right and then because we've now made this little kind of seed and basil avocado bread there is nothing stopping you from taking just a few seeds and just popping them on top giving them a little pop on top another little variation you could add to this is you could put a little bit of nutritional yeast on top which would be really nice but because it's a seed one we're going to add some seeds just a few seeds all right back into the um chef mike's going to take over again chef mike 90 seconds on high 90 seconds on high gives us enough time to do the third uh variation the third flavor and this one is a sweet version because i like to look after you guys right so this is a sweet version hence why i'm using a, a different um container here not much changes even with the sweet one let me let me tell you that not much needs to change and in fact what we're going to be doing is going to be taking that marvelous combination that is avocado and adding a bit of sweetness to make it pretty amazing. So um, the egg goes in, of course. There's our egg. Avocado, heaped tablespoon again. Heaped tablespoon if it'll, if it'll allow me. I've got to put my muscles into that one. Jeez. That ends quite firm. Let me just, ooh, there we go. But like I said, lovely in a salad, just, <laughs> just not so much when it comes to making bread. Right, that goes in there. We're going to go back to our friend almond flour or you can use coconut flour or you could use sunflower flour sunflower seed flour and yes we're going to go back to that heaped tablespoon of almond goes in there but where we're going to mix it up now is we're going to be adding some raw cacao because chocolate and avocado are literally that that match made in heaven but before we do that, I heard a beep. <laughs> I heard a beep. Ta-da. Oh. <laughs> All right, I'll come back to you, little uh, chocolate avocado bread. Um, I heard a beep, which means that it's ready. You can see it's just lovely and spongy on top. Let's turn it out. Ooh, look, it's a little bit bigger than the last one. <gasps> oh, the smell. Guys, the smell on, look at, isn't that the cutest thing you've ever seen? in your life isn't that so 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 cute um for kate kate watch the beginning of the of the um the cooking class i give you other uh, ways that you can cook this if you don't have a microwave um so yeah there you go fabulous uh, looking really good i'm just going to leave that sitting here while we finish off the last one which is our um chocolate and avocado bread so um with our almond in there the next thing I'm going to add in is that little bit of raw cacao powder. So um, raw cacao, and this is an organic one, um, cacao powder, is basically the cacao, which is the pure, 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 bitter, bitter chocolate, um, with nothing added into it. There's no sugar or anything like that. This is just basically the raw chocolate. So now that I've got that in there, I want to add about half a tablespoon, but more like three quarters I would say like if you like it really bitter you like bitter chocolate then you want to go for three quarters if you're not so into the bitter stuff maybe just go for half of that so that goes in we are still going to be adding in our baking powder and our psyllium husks because we still want the bread to have a lovely texture and we want it to rise so quarter of a teaspoon of baking powder goes in half a teaspoon of those wonderful psyllium husks Go in as well but what we're gonna do to create it to be a little bit sweet what we're gonna do is we're going to add in some inulin powder so of course we're gonna be adding in the best inulin powder in the world <laughs> my pure as uh, inulin powder from Bridget's Healthy Kitchen yes if you if you're if you're new to um, watching my videos this is an inulin powder that we now sell and it's a very exciting concept because we have the most pure inulin powder in the world and you guys know and I'm, I'm putting in like just a level tablespoon of that goes in there 
you guys know that inulin powder is a dietary fiber, so it will boost naturally boost the fiber content in your food. It is a prebiotic, so it's good for your gut health as well, which is amazing, and it's also good for gut maintenance. It can assist in the absorption of calcium. So um, this is a really nice way to actually help to boost the availability of calcium in your diet. It is high in fiber and very, very low in calories, of course. It can assist in weight loss. It can help to melt, melt, melt the fat around your organs. It controls your blood sugar levels and your insulin levels. So it is perfect for diabetics, pre-diabetics, or someone who's watching their weight. But the best part about it is it's a little bit sweet and it's not a sugar. So it has got basically zero on the glycemic index. It will not spike your blood sugar. You can get that from pureasinulin.com and we will deliver it to you. And it's available now if you want it. So that is now in there that's gonna to help to sweeten our bread. It is also going to help to add more fiber. So you get a lovely high fiber bread as well. And all those wonderful things that you guys know that inulin does to, to settle and to look after your gut. So that is in there. Let's go back to our lid. Swap that around. Give it a bit of a blend. That is the you can see it's a really wet mixture as well. I've just had a bit of a taste. Um, if you want to um, to um, to make it a little bit sweeter, you can, and you can do that. I wouldn't add any more inulin because inulin is a dietary fiber, but you could add a little bit of fiber syrup if you wanted to make it sweeter. Whereas I quite like it like that. It's not sweet, but it has definitely got that lovely little hint of chocolate in there. You wouldn't even know there's avocado in there. To be completely honest with you. Another thing that you could do with this is you could add in sugar-free chocolate chips. Nothing stopping you from doing that. Adding in sugar-free chocolate chips. You could add um, coca cacao nibs on top, which is basically the cacao powder before it's ground, ground down. So it's, it's like whole, not whole, but it's pieces of cacao before it's made into powder. So you could add the nibs on there. So you could add grated chocolate on there. And in fact, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I think I might actually have some of my vegan chocolate in the fridge. Let me check. Let me have a little look. Oh, I do. Oh, I do, I do, I do. All right. Here's my vegan chocolate. <laughs> I forgot I had it in there. Oh, cool. All right. So, I'm just going to chop up a little bit of the chocolate. You know, instead of using chocolate chips, I'm just going to chop up a little bit of the chocolate my own special chocolate that you guys know I make. And by the way, this recipe that you're seeing now, um, as I said, I did invent it like in, in 2018, but um, I have improved it since then. So this particular recipe is going to be appearing in the next edition of the Yellow Book, Bridget's Healthy Kitchen. So this is one of the recipes that's going to be appearing into the new, into the, into the new book. Well, the next edition of the book, 90 seconds, that goes into the, into Chef Mike to take over. Oh, yep, too long. Start again. There you go. Right. So, where was I at? Yes, yeah, so that recipe that you just saw, that, that super quick avocado bread, yes, is going to appear in the next edition of Bridget's Healthy Kitchen. So, um, as I was saying yesterday on our live, that we have been picked up by an amazing publisher called Murdoch Books, and they're going to be um, they're going to be republishing this book, and this book is about to go global. So um, we're going to have a new cover, which I saw the I saw the the copy for the new cover um, just this morning. It was sent through to me to have a look at to sign off. We're going to have a new cover. It's still going to be the yellow book. So you're going to get all these recipes that are currently in there, all the hundred recipes that are currently in there in there, but I've added a new section. And that new section is healthy treats. The quick, super quick avocado bread is going to be in there. It is totally going to be in there. So that is in there. My vegan chocolate, my, my dairy-free, sugar-free, gluten-free vegan chocolate is also going to be in there. So there is um, 13 new recipes, actually 14 new recipes that are going to be appearing in here. Um, and it's going to be amazing. So that doesn't get released to about August, September this year within Australia and New Zealand, and it's getting released into Europe in January. So if you have a copy of this, 
book, this edition, the first edition, it is a collector's item. Because from August, in fact, we've only got a few um, copies of this left. Once it sells out, that's it. It is that you're going to have the, the collector's edition of Bridget's Healthy Kitchen before it goes completely mainstream and goes into Europe and goes all throughout all the stores um, throughout the world. You guys have the special edition. So congratulations if you have that. If you, if you don't have that and you'd like to get your copy of the special edition, we still have a few copies available. Once they're gone, they're gone. I won't be doing another print run of the, of the, of the yellow book. Once they're gone, they're gone. You can go to um, bridgetscookbook.com and order your copy of that. The microwave has beeped. Oh, ho, ho, ho. This is so I know I get excited, but I can't help it. Look. Yeah, yeah. It like, it's like a chocolate muffin, but it's bread. Can't go wrong. Cannot go wrong. It's a chocolate muffin, but it's bread. So in my mind, you know, what I'm thinking, oh, look at it, it's all marbled. It's all marbled like that. Look at it, gorgeous. What I'm thinking would be really nice if you want to have this as dessert, is yes, you could, you could let it cool down, cut it and toast it, because it would be amazing. But the other thing that you could do with it is you could serve it warm with um, coconut yogurt, a big you know, dribble of berries, like macerated berries. Um, you could do it with fresh berries as well. And this would be the most amazing dessert bread you could possibly imagine, right? That little chocolate bread. I mean, it's hard to believe that with those simple ingredients, you can come up with all these really, really, really cool things. But once again, it's about being adventurous, you know, and, and taking my simple recipe and creating a chocolate bread, chocolate and avocado bread, or taking the base recipe that we are talking about before, that's the base, and it's still warm, fresh bread that's warm, and it's still super, super moist, as you can see. It's not gonna dry up. This is not gonna dry up, by the way. This is super moist. So that's the base. And you know, you can make you can make that, nothing wrong with that, but you can also do exciting things with it, like our little seed and basil avocado bread that we made there as well, which is going to be phenomenal. So um there you go guys. It's been really awesome seeing you all again and, and reading your comments. I do apologize if I have been unable to answer some people's comments as we've been filming. I am on my own today. I don't have my I don't have my backup here today. He is um, at the hospital with our son. I'm about to go back to the hospital. It's my shift today and Mahe will be home. So check it out. Look at those little breads. I only used one and a half, like, like three quarters of an avocado to make three of the most gorgeous, gorgeous little breads you could possibly imagine. Please make them your own. Take the base recipe, create something amazing and make sure you share it with us, all your different creations, what you make from the base. Share it with us because we love to know your flavor combinations. Share it with us on Bridget's Healthy Kitchen Family, which is our private group. If you're not a member, please join. It's free. <laughs> and you get to see all the wonderful things that everyone else is doing as well. All right, guys, I'm going to head off now. I hope to see you soon, maybe even tomorrow. No, no promises, but I'm going to really try tomorrow um, to, to do one more class before Mahe and I head, um, we're off to the United States on Monday, very early Monday morning. Um, so the next live, the next Q&A, sorry, will be actually from San Diego. I'll be doing a Q&A from San Diego. And, um, and then the following Q&A, I think we're back in Sydney by then, but the next Q&A will be in San Diego. We've got California, San Diego, um, Southern California, so we've got LA, Southern California, San Diego, and also Hawaii on the list. And one really cool thing about Hawaii is I'll be doing four, oh, there's only three fingers. <laughs> I'll be doing four, oh my gosh. I'll be doing four live cooking classes from Hawaii, and I'm calling it my little Hawaiian kitchen. How exciting is that? I have a beautiful cottage right on the beach and we're going to be doing cooking up a storm, making some delicious healthy food that you can have even when you are on holiday. So keep an eye out for Bridget's um, little Hawaiian kitchen coming to you real soon, in fact in just over a week. And um, please, I'm going to try very hard to do one more class before we go tomorrow, but no promises, depends what time I get back from the hospital. I'm going to try my best though. Alright guys, going to love you and leave you. Good to see you. Thank you for joining me today. I can't wait to see you again.
Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Wherever you are in the world, please be safe. Okay, guys. Bye-bye.